for each of these triangles, we are trying to show that the area of the shaded triangle equals one half base times height. To prove that, we're going to use our moving and additivity principles to be able to create rectangles, which we know have length times width. And so let's go ahead and take this first guy. And if we double him and then put the copy up here, that gives us then a rectangle who has area base times height. Sorry, base times height. But because we doubled the triangle, the area of the triangle, so the area of the triangle is equal to one half that. And so you've shown with using the uh, copy and take half to show the area of that uh, green triangle then is one-half base times height. Now on the bottom one, what we can do, we're going to use one-half height. So if we if we cut this in half, you get one-half height, one-half height. Draw a straight line across, and then take this, cut it, and reattach it down here. Now what you see, this one-half height, is this. And the width is still B, so the area of that triangle is one-half height times that base. Now we can use that same process, only now this time we're going to cut the base because we want to have one-half base times the height. So let's go ahead and cut this, and it's no longer base, it's one-half of the base, and here is one half of the base. If we cut this here and take this and move them up there, we are going to get this. Sorry, that was not where it goes. And so, what do we get for all of these pieces? This one half base that we have here is actually transferring to here when we swap that around and move it around. This then, <coughs> here is still height. So the area of this triangle is one half base times height. And so what we did was we used that move and reattach strategy and then length times width for a rectangle to be able to find that area. Now, you have to, when you work with these other triangles down at the bottom, these are a little different because the height is not one of the lengths of the side. Instead, they're inside. But we're still going to use that same strategy where we take one half the height and on the other one, one half of the base. And so go ahead and try those. That's homework. And you should come see me if you have questions.